Today is April 3rd. It's a Wednesday. It's not. It's a Thursday. Thur what is today? It's a Thursday. It's a Thursday. There you go. Thank you very much. It's just so it's going so fast I can't keep <laughs> up. This is Wayne Goldsboro Television. I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Kim Best. Good morning. Thank you for joining us on this Thursday morning. Very good. Hi there. Well, I'm glad you're with us. Today is middle of the week day and I'm happy about that. And can you believe this weather? I am loving it. Loving every minute of it. You know, sunshine just makes us all have a little pep in our step, right? Uh, yeah, that, no, that's true. Uh, <laughs> I yeah. mean, think about it. It just uh, makes us a little happier. It does. It does. Little, of course, a little more smiles on the faces. Lots of sunshine. We've got peppy steps and we've got everything right. else. And you that's know what? That's right. I got bloomers all over my yard. Not touching it with a ten-foot pole. <laughs> no, I mean you know the dogwoods are blooming. Oh. The the the, the uh, irises are getting ready to pop out and bloom. Oh, uh, the, okay. The dand da not dandelion. Well, yeah, I got Those two. I got dandelions <laughs> blooming too. I got more dandelions. I got a great crop of dandelions. I'll Good for you. you. Please do. That's yeah. my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what a great time of year it is. Absolutely love it. Uh, and guess what? Today's big news is. Uh, Elvis is alive. Not quite, maybe, but okay. not quite. Okay, what else? Majesty Rose is back in Goldsboro. Oh, American right? Idol contestant, Goldsboro's very own Majesty Rose York is back in Goldsboro. We're excited to have her back in our community. Oh, yeah. We have a big welcome home party for her today, 12 o'clock to 2 o'clock. It'll be taking place at the Goldsboro Family Wise Child Care Center, and that's on Harding Drive. Yeah. And we are so excited to have her back. She's going to play her guitar and sing a little bit for us. Oh, boy. She's going to talk to us about her experiences. Oh, that's great. And we're going to have some snacks and some Majesty Rose special cupcakes from Bake My Day and Ooh. lots of great sponsors out there. And we do want to say thank you so, so very much to all you great sponsors who have been so gracious through these past, uh, what, 10 weeks? Of following Majesty. Yeah, we do appreciate it very much. And once again, yeah. our community comes together always. And I tell you what, she is a winner. She, she is sure truly is. Truly a winner. What a pro she is. She's very talented. No she's, doubt about no it. No doubt about that. She's attractive. She's talented. She knows how to sing to an audience. Uh, she has a great stage presence. We're very proud of Majesty Rose. And I don't know if you've seen her on. She was a couple of days ago. She was on um, Kelly. It used to be Regis and Kelly. Now it's Kelly and Michael. Kelly and Michael. There were several other shows that she was on in New York when she went on her media tour there, and I think she's going back soon. But uh, that was one of the shows, and I saw her performance on that show. She did great. She really did fabulous. The acoustics in that mm -hmm. room were wonderful. Yeah. Without the pressure of the competition. Mm -hmm. she, that makes a difference, oh, I'm yeah, sure. it does make a I'm big sure. difference. Now, she and Michael Strahan, of course, uh, share diastema. And what might that be? The teeth. The gap between the teeth. That's it. The isn't two that, front teeth. That, cute? that is. So have so many other famous people. Of course, Terry Thomas, the uh, the British actor with the with the the big gap between his teeth, and uh, Lauren. Bacall. No, Lauren. The other Lauren. There's another Lauren. I, 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 Lauren Hutton, Hutton. Thank you very much. Yeah. That's right. Lauren Hutton. Yeah, very pretty lady there. She had uh, the gap, and so many others did as well. It's kind of cute. It sure is. Uh, and there was a matter of fact when uh, she was on the television show with Re not Regis with Michael and um, Kelly. Yeah. They did a little picture and put to send it out on Instagram and also sent it out on Twitter. And so did they? if you follow the city of Goldsboro on Twitter, you will definitely see it there. How about so that? We retweeted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I want to mention very quickly, I know this is uh, the something of April. What is April 3rd? Today's the 3rd, Thursday. Today's the 3rd, Thursday the 3rd. Coming up a month from today will be the second of two days of the Antique Farm Equipment Day. This is a very exciting Antique thing. Antique Farm Equipment. Antique Farm. Oh, Where will it be on display? This is going to be at the Wayne Regional Fairgrounds. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, Wayne Regional Agricultural Fairgrounds on Highway 117 South. It's a Dudley address, but it's not that far from Goldsboro. It's a fairground. <laughs> but it's sponsored by Eastern Carolina Vintage Farm Equipment Club. Uh, Wayne Acock gave this to me because he, of course, is, uh, likes oh, old yes. tractors and all that sort of thing. But uh, it's going to be a consignment auction on May 3rd. Now, everything begins on Friday, May 2nd. It's an Antique Farm Equipment Days, their 12th annual show. There hmm. is no admission charge. That's um, nice. There is admission, but you're not charged when you go in. There you go. Anyway. <laughs> you uh, slick. Thank you. I try. <laughs> I try. Anyway, this is going to be a lot of fun. I'll tell you more about that the closer we get to it. But if you like old tractors, old equipment, old machinery, uh, some of these are rebuilt to look better than the day they rolled off the, the assembly line. I mean, I love old tractors. Yes, That's indeed. Nice. But anyway, there you go. It's coming up May 2nd and 3rd at the, uh, at the uh, fairgrounds. So one month from right now. Yeah. 
Whoa. That's right. Well, guess what's happening this Saturday? Elvis is alive. No, he oh. asked me that earlier. He's oh. still not alive. Oh, okay. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. But do you like miniature trains? I love. Are you kidding me? I love miniature trains. Well, this Saturday, you can ride the one at Herman Park. It's the opening day. Of the Kiwanis it train. It is of the Kiwanis train. It's oh, opening boy. day. It's called Kiwanis One Day Project. Uh, all aboard, connecting kids and communities. It'll be happening this Saturday. Um, if you want a free train ride, you can bring little things for the YMCA child care program. You, they want you to bring children's books, mm -hmm. Play-Doh, mm -hmm. of course, new Play-Doh. Oh, yeah, no use Play-Doh. Uh, no use Play-Doh. No, no, we don't want that. No. <laughs> new marker sets, toys, dolls, cars, any type of thing that they can use at the child care center. Bring one of those and you get a free ride on the train. And let's see if there's anything that's, oh, there will be a Majesty, uh, Majesty Rose fan mail station set up. And there, even though oh. Majesty's back in Goldsboro, they want you to write congratulations to her. And they'll get all this information oh, to Majesty fun. firsthand. That's fun. Yeah, that's this Saturday. You know, the train was built, if I'm not mistaken, in the mid-50s. I think 1953 or 5, somewhere uh -huh. around there. And it's been going ever since. They keep it up. They keep it We're maintained loving it. and everything. Loving it that's is right. That's right. All, all right. right. I think it's time to go to our interview, so stay with us. Today we're talking with Meg Grenade of the Downtown Goldsboro Development Corporation. Hiya, Meg. Hello. It's always great to have you in the studio. Oh, well, it's great to be here. Good to have you with us. And one of the busiest offices in Goldsboro and Wayne <laughs> County is DGDC. We are very busy. Gee, yeah, you guys do so much. We've got a lot going on. Tell us exactly what DGDC is and what you do. Well, we are the Downtown Goldsboro Development Corporation. Right. Um, so we kind of oversee the municipal service district. Mm -hmm. It's an area of downtown, um, primarily business owners. Um, there's some residential as apartments, and stuff, that kind of stuff. But okay. we, we like to bring in new business, um, help existing businesses. Um, our office provides financial incentives for people relocating or starting a business downtown. We do events. We, I mean, we, we do a ton of stuff. I really feel that people are beginning to be aware of what downtown offers mm -hmm. with the beautiful lamps, lamp posts and, and the sidewalks and the, the, the redoing of the center street, the mm -hmm. northern side and the southern side is going to be starting pretty soon. soon. Mm -hmm. With the apartments available downtown, which is really not a well-kept secret anymore, used no, to be. No, and, and we have people who are really knocking down our doors for apartment spaces downtown. I'll tell you. Uh, I, I saw what Bill Edgerton did over here to the Edgerton building, and you did a piece on television for mm -hmm. us that was just really dynamite. His spaces are gorgeous. They are, mm -hmm. and he rents these apartments out, and uh, and anybody could do this. Oh yeah, anybody could do it, and it's um, part of our struggle is that people see these these buildings, and some of them are just shells, but mm -hmm. they're beautiful. They have exposed brick, and when you look at the floor and you really shine them up, the floors are all hardwood. Yes. Um, just gorgeous spaces, and that's what he did with his. He did. He fixed his up beautifully, and mm -hmm. there's so many other buildings available for that. Yes, we have a ton, and we have a lot of people now who are wanting to bring their businesses downtown. Um, so. You know, we've, we've got that snowball going, and now it seems it's just rolling on down the oh, hill. Oh, no, it's mm -hmm. great. Well, now you mentioned incentives also. Now, mm -hmm. there, there's help for people who want to put their, their business downtown and, and restore some of these old buildings. Yes. So we have a facade grant that our office offers, and that's for anyone who's looking to spruce up the exterior of their building that is visible to the public. Mm -hmm. And then we also offer a business incentive grant. So okay. if you are a business who's relocating to downtown or starting fresh downtown, you can apply for this grant that will pay, after you've been in business for six months, it will pay $400 per month for 12 months. Wow. Yeah, so wow. it kind of offsets the cost of your utilities or if you wanted you know, to put that $400 towards marketing, it, it just, we want to help, you know, for that first year, yeah. you get your foot off on the right start. There's all kinds of ways, and, and anyone who starts a new business knows that the first year is the toughest. It is. Starting a new business is not easy, but it certainly can be rewarding, and with a little help from our friends at DGDC, yes. I'm a Beatles fan, by the way, <laughs> with a little help from your friends, uh, you can, uh, it, they make it a little easier. We do, uh, and downtown is like a big family. I like to say, you know, you can put your business on Berkeley somewhere, on Spence, or on Ash, um, mm -hmm. but to me, downtown really is, everybody looks out for each other, you know, our office helps market what everybody's doing, um, and so it's kind of like everybody's watching out for each other mm -hmm. and, you know, this restaurant only wants to see this clothing, clothing boutique thrive because whoever shops there is going to patronize their business as well. I'm not taking anything at all away from any of the other businesses in the area. No. 
there's something about downtown mm -hmm. that is just magic. Uh, you can walk from place to place rather than have to get into an automobile and drive somewhere. Mm -hmm. You can walk from restaurant to restaurant to store to store or and then go home upstairs in your apartment downtown. Yes. Uh, and, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, I believe there's a resurgence of downtown living going on across the whole country, isn't there? There is. More people are discovering this. Yep, and it's, um, it's something that we've noticed, too, where people no longer want that giant yard to maintain or, oh, you know, yeah. they don't want to spend, because you know, people work really hard nowadays and they don't have a lot of free time. And when you have that free time, you don't necessarily want to spend it mowing your lawn or, you know, digging up your weeds. Or <laughs> So if you live in an upper story, you know, apartment right. in a downtown area, Someone else is, you know, doing the flowers and the gardening and, and you have time to go out to dinner and, and, you know, see a show, that kind of thing. Yeah, you know, as a side note here very quickly, back at the turn of the century, the last one, 1900, there were new inventions coming out all the time and there were some people who were actually concerned that people would have too much time on their hands. Really? Oh, I would love to have that problem. <laughs> Isn't that, wouldn't that be a good problem <laughs> yes, to have? Yes, it would. But, of course, that didn't happen, but there was concern that people would, would become complacent and lethargic and just not want to do anything well you don't have time to do anything now but if you live downtown not only does it save you a lot of time but you're just living in a great community you are and it's the safest place statistically in the city mm -hmm. which is wonderful that's true it is but it's true um and we have great sh restaurants yeah. we have new businesses moving in all the time um, we have a few that have just opened up uh towns antiques on center street oh. um they're getting their space upfitted they're gonna be moving in soon and then the yoga connection which oh. is on john street okay so yeah you get home from work you feel like relaxing a little bit just go down to the yoga connection and take a class and head on home now that's a plan uh, yeah i think we all need a little more yoga in i life. could use a little yogi <laughs> i mean a little yoga <laughs> whatever anyway <laughs> You know, and here we are, we're starting off the conversation talking about all the benefits of downtown, mm -hmm. but you've got so many things going on. We do. And I don't want to take any more time talking about that, so let's talk about what you want to talk about. Okay, so I'm just going to rattle about? off a few events that we let's have coming up. Let's rattle here. Okay, we're so rattling. we have on April 10th, I believe it is, mm -hmm. which is Thursday, yes, Thursday next week, mm -hmm. is the Teddy Bear Picnic. Oh, okay. And that's at Cornerstone Commons. It is from, let's think. It's from about 11.30 to 1. Okay. And any kids can come out with their parents and bring lunch and listen to stories. And they plant pinwheel gardens. Oh, boy. It's just, it's a really fun family event. And then Friday night, we have the Barnyard Bar Bounce, which is kickoff to Big in the Park weekend. Right. Um, yeah. And then, obviously, we have Center Street Jam season coming I've up. I've heard of that. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> just this little, little thing that goes on oh downtown boy. all summer long. Can't um, wait. But we do have a change for Center Street Jam this year. Really? Yes. What's going on? So because that streetscape construction may start in June, mm -hmm. you know, or late spring, early summer, um, Center Street will be torn up. So we have to move the jam site this year. <gasps> I know. Really? It's still downtown. Okay. It's still very accessible. Okay. Um, instead of the Waynesboro House parking lot, where it's traditionally held off Center Street, it's going to be held in the John Street parking lot. Um, so behind oh, the Flying Shamrock. Sure. Mm -hmm, that, oh, that's a great place. Yep, that's where it will be held, and it's the same style. You know, come bring your lawn chairs and, you know, park it for a few hours and enjoy the music, great food, yeah. great beverages. Yeah, that's that's great. Well, I can certainly understand that. And that's, that's a large parking lot. It is. Right behind the Shamrock mm -hmm. off uh, John Street. Yes, North off John, John Street. It'll be accessible from John. Okay. Yeah. yeah, because the other side is uh, Center Street. Yes. And you won't be able to get anywhere for, uh, because of the construction and everything. Right. All right. What else is happening? Um, we've got Community Action Day on April 26th. Okay. And that's just an hour, two hours from 10 a.m. until noon where people okay. come downtown, they plant some flowers, pick up trash, just beautify for a little bit, and then go about their business. Same, same weekend as the Pickle Festival. Okay. So come out, pitch in, and then go get your pickles. And then go get pickles. Yep. Um, get your pickles, I mean. Yes, and then I also wanted to let you know the city, and so I don't, you know, get any information incorrect. I'm going to read it here. Read it, she's reading. On April 14th, they are hosting a talk from Mitchell Silver on economic development. Good. Mitch was the former planning director for downtown Raleigh, the city of Raleigh, mm -hmm. and he is now the commissioner of the Department of Parks and Recreation in New York City. So is he really? He is. So he's, oh, that's big time. It is big time. Whoa. And he's taking some time out of his schedule from noon to 1 p.m. on April 14th to come and talk to our community about economic development and um, I think leveraging, you know, taxes and existing infrastructure to boost our own economy here. 
That is great. So he went from Raleigh to New York. Mm -hmm. Now Raleigh, downtown Raleigh, whether you like Raleigh or not, doesn't matter. But you gotta, you gotta admit, downtown Raleigh was a challenge here some years ago. Mm -hmm. But uh, obviously, after Mitchell was finished with it, it became quite the downtown area. It is. He's done a wonderful job. He did a wonderful job there. Yeah, we were there this past weekend, um, and we walked around for a minute. But just, they have a ton of development going on. The new yes, business is coming in all the time. Yeah. And Raleigh is one of the fastest growing cities in the entire country. It is. Yeah. Yep. It's one of the top five, I think. It is. Mm -hmm. All right. Wow. Yeah. So he's going to be here in Goldsboro when? April 14th. April 14th. Yep. And he right. will be at City Hall. Okay. It's that's free. a Monday. Yeah. Free and open to the public. Great. Refreshments will be provided. Great. So come on in, learn a little bit, and, you know, maybe talk to him. He is a terrific presenter. Um, I had the opportunity to listen to a, a talk he was giving to a couple years ago, and you're entertained the entire time, and he makes he makes you really think about what can be applied here in Goldsboro. All right, mm -hmm. there you go. And what time does that start? Noon. Noon o'clock. Mm -hmm. At City Hall. All right, at City Hall downtown. And I mean to keep up with everything we're doing. Yeah. Facebook. Facebook. Twitter. Twitter. Mm -hmm. Downtown Goldsboro. Okay, how do we get to your? Uh, Facebook page. Facebook page, if you just get on Facebook and search downtown Goldsboro. There you go. Or you can go to our website, dgdc.org, and there's a link from our website. And just in case someone is, happens to be writing things down, what is your phone number? It's 919-735-4959. Mm -hmm. 735-4959. Mm -hmm. All right. Excellent. Meg Grenade of the Downtown Goldsboro Development Corporation Thank office. Thank you. How's yeah. that baby doing? She's doing very well. Woo. How old now? Mm, Ten months. Ten years? Ten years, okay. gosh. I mean, it feels like that, <laughs> but no, she's only ten okay, months right ten now. Okay, ten months. Thanks, Meg. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Today we're talking with Investigator Jason Adams of the Goldsboro Police Department. It's time to talk about Crime Stoppers. Jason, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Appreciate you coming in talking with us. Now, Crime Stoppers, for those who do not know, has been in existence here in the Goldsboro Wayne County area for a number of years and has uh, received national recognition for the uh, for many things including well just for everything um, it's it's quite a, uh, a fantastic operation here and the whole idea is to keep crime reduce crime keep crime off the streets of Goldsboro and Wayne County Correct. all right well Jason's got a couple of, uh, of incidents he wants to tell us about and what's going on well currently we're working several break-ins um, over the past several days that we've had um, in the area mostly uh, featuring around um, Wayne Memorial Drive. We've had a break-in that occurred at Dairy Queen. Oh boy! Um, oh no, not Dairy Queen. And not just one time. It's been twice. Really? Um, unfortunately. And well, now let me ask you: Is uh, Dairy Queen twice, and along you say along the Wayne Memorial Drive? Yes. Corridor. Mm -hmm. uh, is it felt that these may be related? Um, it's unknown at this time, but we're really working them, um, mm -hmm. trying to look at it. We do uh, have some tips and stuff that we're looking at, mm -hmm. and also um, some video surveillance and everything. Okay. All right. Now we also in that same area, um, the same shopping complex is um, Quiznos, and unfortunately that one was w as well was broken into. Quiznos, yes. Okay, and along the same area there. Correct. All right. So, so tell me about the Dairy Queen incident. Um, Dairy Queen, it was broken in on March 27th. Um, occurred approximately around 0700 is when the report came in. Early morning. Early morning, mm -hmm. yes. Um, right now we really don't know um, the description or anything because we don't have any video on that, but uh, we do know that cash was taken. Um, as well in the Quiznos uh, incident. Oh boy, okay. And you say uh, the, uh, the Dairy Queen uh, was hit twice? Yes. When was the second time? Uh, the second time was on March 29th, so two days later. A couple of days later? Yes. Wow. So just had time to clean up and really get uh, you know, back to normal almost. And All right. Was that also early morning? Uh, it was as well. Um, that one came in around midnight, uh, just after midnight. Just after midnight? Yes. So these are uh, these people who are doing the breaking and entering are operating overnight. Correct. Darkness. Uh, so how would you suggest people uh, if they see something suspicious? Okay. Um, well, don't be afraid to you call. Do? You know, a lot of people are hesitant in calling because they don't want to get someone else in trouble. Um, the biggest thing is if if you have that sick feel, uh, sick feeling in your stomach, mm -hmm. uh, you know, or sick sense, um, yeah. you know, be you know, make the call. Um, that's what we're there for. That's our job. Uh, we want to go out and keep these businesses safe and keep our um, citizens safe. So it's really important to make the call. It's better to make the call and be wrong, correct, than make the than not make the call and 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 have a break in or somebody get hurt, 
Correct. So it's always better to go ahead and make that call, and the police appreciate what you do if you do make the call, to call either the police, call 911, or sheriff's office. Yes. We just call 911 and they'll route the call. Correct. That is correct. It goes through our communication center, and uh, no matter if you're in Wayne County or in Goldsboro, um, we'll make sure that the right department gets there. Okay, whether it's uh, the uh, the city or the county, correct. either one, just call 911. If you, if you like, like Jason says, if you have that sixth sense or that gut feeling that something just isn't right. Correct. People's gut, I trust my gut feeling. Oh, yeah. You know, it works. <laughs> I've called, in fact, I've called several times and it turned out to be, most of them turned out to be wrong. One or two turned out to be wow. wrong. Um, on target. We're also working a break in off of uh, West Grantham Street. Um, kind of the same uh, uh, MO or same style type break in, same time frame. Mm -hmm. um, and that was at Bojangles the, uh -oh. there on Grantham Street. So, um, same kind of uh, time frame. Um, they didn't get any, anything in that break in. They did um, not. But again, we are looking at video and trying to see if there is any relation. So there was video available at the at the Bojangles. Yes, break there in. was. Okay, now, Bojangles. That's out behind the highway patrol station, isn't it? That is correct. Yes. Grr. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> These people are hitting restaurants. Yeah. You shouldn't do that. No. Well, you shouldn't do it all, but uh, at all, but anyway, especially restaurants. Okay, so what do people do? Or do well, you have any more? Well, that's really what we're working right now okay. um, as far as our crime of the week and what we're looking for is uh, possibly being um, consistent with uh, or related. Mm -hmm. um, and we're trying to basically just put awareness out there that the individuals are wearing uh, dark clothing. So if you see someone wearing dark clothing, um, wearing their hood up, don't really want to show their face and things like that. Yeah. Um, you know, that's something that you should be kind of uh, paying attention to. That's when the gut feeling comes and in. Exactly. Yeah. If, you know, you're thinking, why is this person hiding from me yeah. or hiding, then who are they really trying to hide from? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Use your, use your, your noggin here. Okay. So how do we, how do we make this right? Well, what do we do? Well, if, you know, call Crime Stoppers. Um, you can remain anonymous. Um, you know, just call uh, 911. You can let them know that you want to make a Crime Stoppers tip mm -hmm. um, and remain anonymous as well. Mm -hmm. Or you can also just call the Goldsboro Police Department. Um, a regular phone number, 919-705-6572 uh, for the dispatch center, non-emergency, and let them know that you want to make a, uh, no, um, a Crime, crime Stoppers, Stoppers tip. A Crime Stoppers tip. Okay, that's Goldsboro Police Department. Call 911. Or you can call Crime Stoppers, and that number 735 Two two five five. Correct. All right. Nine one nine seven three five two two five five. You will remain anonymous if you call that number. They have no way of tracing your phone back to your phone. No way. In fact, they don't even want to know who you are because that opens all kinds of cans of worms. So, so uh, call Crime Stoppers nine one nine seven three five two two five five nine one one or the Goldsboro Police Department. That's correct. All right. Investigator Jason Adams for Crime Stoppers this morning. We thank you for being right. with us. Thank you. All right. All right. All right, we're back. Now that was fun. Meg Grenade doing a great job there. She always does, I and know. she's so involved and so informed, and very, very talented young lady. Very talented. Yes, she is. And crime right, what shoppers. What does she do? What does she do? Yeah. She is promotions coordinator and does several other things with DGDC, which oh, is the I downtown knew. Goldsboro yeah. Development I knew Corporate. That. <laughs> very talented well, young lady. Right. She's also on my marketing committee. I thought maybe she's a tightrope walker, or maybe she uh, uh, did something like that. She's very good at marketing. Oh, yeah, that's a very, talent. Very, very good. That's yes, it is a talent. All right. Speaking of talent, Doris Day is having a birthday today. Oh, how old is she? She is 92, bless her heart. Wow, happy that? birthday. Uh, her name, Doris, Mar Doris Mary Ann Von Kappelhoff. So not Doris Day. No. <laughs> Surprise. Uh -huh. Whatever will be, will be. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. Sarah, Sarah. <laughs> Sarah, oh, yeah. Sarah. Oh, yeah. Sarah, Sarah. Uh, let's see. Everybody loves a lover. Sentimental Journey, one of my favorites. Going to take a sentimental journey, going to set my heart at ease. Oh, baby. Uh, he remembers all these things. Uh, sang, uh, uh, appeared in Young at Heart, Pillow Talk, uh, April in Paris, Lullaby of Broadway, and a whole bunch of other stuff. A bunch of other stuff. Oh, she yeah. is uh, quite well known. 92 years today, Doris Day. 72 years is Wayne Newton. Happy birthday, Hey, Wayne Dr. Newton. Shane, to you, dude. That's right. Well, he's been in several movies. He's been in a lot of movies, a lot of TV show. He was uh, Andy Williams' uh, 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 protege on Andy's show when mm -hmm. he was uh, on TV years ago. Uh, of course, that's when, Andy, uh, that's when uh, Wayne Newton was a kid. His first name is actually Carson. 
Is it Carson Wayne Newton? Carson Wayne is Newton. Yeah, like how that. about that? Carson's like, a pretty name. Yeah, it is a good name. Yeah. Anyway, he's 72 years today, Dr. Not Shane. that Wayne's a bad name or anything. Well, I kind of like it. Yeah, thank, thank you. Too much. I'm glad you straightened us out. <laughs> yeah, that. I got to get that straight All right, right here. Tony Orlando. Oh, yes. Of Tony Orlando and, and Dawn, Dawn mm -hmm. had so many big hits Knock Three Times, Tie a Yellow Ribbon. You're, everybody remembers that one. Well, everybody's uh, just saying that Knock Three Times on the ceiling. Yep. Okay, yep. got it. Uh, <laughs> Candida and a bunch of other stuff. He and the two ladies, Dawn, made a ton of hits. He is 70 today. Wow. Eddie Murphy, the funny guy, is 53. He is great. He is funny. He is that. Quite a talent. And can do so many things people are not aware of. He really? Can do, well, Give he me an so example. Other, well, the Nutty Professor was oh, one. Oh, goodness, yeah. That was that great. He did that. And he did... He, did, um, he came from very serious acting to extremely com yeah. comedic. Beverly Hills Cop. Yeah. Trading Places True. is one of my favorites. Oh, yeah, that was I love great. Trading Places. Uh, Coming to America. Oh, that was fabulous. And he did fabulous. all those characters. Uh -huh. that, that was great. And that really highlighted his talent. That mm -hmm. showed how, how talented he is. That's and a good movie, by the way, if you is. haven't seen it. Coming, Coming to America. Very good. And Dr. Doolittle, of course. But uh, also a birthday today, very quickly, Jenny Garth is one of the actresses on oh, Beverly yeah. Hills 90210. Yes, she, she is. She is 4210. Happy birthday to each and every one of you. 42. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What you got? Sunday. This Sunday okay. is also okay. going to be Sunday in the Park at Herman Park. There will be all kinds of music going on. There will be um, arts vendors, arts and crafts. Uh, there may be, I believe there's going to be a farmer's market out there as well. Oh boy. So join us. Saturday is the Kiwanis first day of the Kiwanis train. And then Sunday is going to be the first Sunday in the park that we'll have this spring and summer. So lots of activities happening this weekend right here in our community, both of them at Herman Park. Boy, I can't wait. <laughs> oh, boy. But, I want to see you on that train. Uh, well, I want to see me on that train, too. Okay. I want to see you on that train. I'll By the way, it. very quickly here, i got to tell you, tomorrow, get ready for this, the Shriners Fish Fries Fish tomorrow. Fry. Wayne's so Woo. excited. Woo. I'm excited <laughs> about that. From 11 till 2 and 4 till 7 p.m. at the Shriners Fish Fry at Herman Park Center, where you can eat in, or drive through Herman Park, or drive through Mount Olive across from Mount Olive Center there next to Robert's Machine Shop. That's right. Only $8 per plate, and the money goes to help the Shriners continue their many projects throughout the Wayne County area. Please give a little Absolutely. more than that. If you can give more than $8, that would be great. Just give would. them a 10, right? Give them a 10, sure. Give you them don't more, want give them a 20. Right. <laughs> and we'll be back tomorrow right here on the channel you are watching right this minute. We start at 7 a.m., the show repeats at 12, and then again at 5 30. Until tomorrow, I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Kim Best, and this is what's happening in your community.